Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Dead Space. Hopefully in this episode we've got through most of the cutscenes and I've got more of a clue what I'm doing. So, without further ado, let's get in this lift and probably get attacked by something. Hmm. Let's never go through a door without having full ammo. So the alternate fire on this weapon... I'll talk about it later. Ow. This one's still alive. Bring him here. See, elevators are bad. Isaac Clark. Just the man I was looking for. Oh, don't waste your energy. You're going to be dead in a matter of minutes. Pick him up. There's something I'd like you to see. There. You see that? That's a marker test lab. They're everywhere at all the major colonies and outposts. What do you want from me? As part of the marker test program, Isaac, you helped make them. And today, you of all people get to watch me set them free. No. No. You'll kill everyone. Death is only the beginning, Isaac. Nature must take its course, and I can't allow you or anyone else to stop that. Eyes forward, Isaac. Pay attention. So one of the side effects these markers have is they actually reanimate dead tissue, and they basically um, turn things into necromorphs. Now it's time for you to join the cycle of rebirth. These sort of strange, undead, monster hybrid creatures. And unitologists actually believe that this is a good thing. Because they believe that it is a stage of sort of human evolution. Uh, in the sort of event they call convergence. Where basically everyone has to die and then everyone will converge as this sort of super being. But yeah, they're a little mad. Okay. Oh shit. Yeah. Shit. Okay, pick that up and queue. Pick that up. Don't need to queue again. So these look a lot like necromorphs. Let's reload and get some distance. Did I get them both? Yeah, as I was saying before, what you have to do with these things. Yeah, shoot limbs to dismember enemies. This really is the best way to kill, is to actually shoot off arms and legs. Headshots not so effective. That's the reason the plasma um, cutter is so good, because the uh, round will actually land where those three dots are, so it cuts in a horizontal line, but the alternate fire cuts in a vertical line, so you can actually uh, cut arms and legs off more easily. Not exactly sure that's what it was designed to do, um, but it has been repurposed. Okay, can't have a coffee, so let's go out here. Right, which way does it want me to go? It wants me to go that way. No, it wants me to go that way. So let's look over here. That's a locked door, because it's orange. But there may be stuff on the floor I can pick up. Dead Space is the master of jump scare games, but it's also the master of hidden loot. It's well worth picking up if you can do it without getting stuck on desks. Okay, more health. What have we got in here? More bullets. So basically, everything is health and bullets. So basically, um, stomp corpses to reveal items. Yeah, it's always worth stomping corpses anyway, because they do really like having a uh, Corpses that come alive and attack you when you least expect it. I'm probably just wasting ammo now. You can guarantee the first corpse that I go up to that I don't shoot or stomp first is going to get up and attack me. And... 
right there, you see exactly what I was talking about. Will you get off? Thank you. Yeah, stomping not always that effective. But as you can see, having your arms and legs missing and even your head missing doesn't necessarily stop these things attacking you. Okay. Wow, actually full on health. Okay. That's exactly what I said was going to happen. The first thing that I didn't try and stomp was going to get up off the floor and attack me. I'm not saying the game's predictable. Okay, uh, uh, what, what the shit balls is that? Okay, Isaacs, you're stuck on the furniture. Get off. Oh, God. Wow, that was gruesome. Stay dead. Oh, look, more health. Did I get all of them? More health. Um, let me just have a quick look in my inventory. Ooh. Um, what I'm going to do here, how do I drop something? Uh, e, select, and uh, E to drop. And tab out of there. I figure it's probably better to have the... Uh, the better med packs than the lesser ones, right? Yeah, I get the feeling there's going to be more of these things around. Well, the cleaners are clearly overpaid. Ooh, more health that I can't pick up. More shoddy cleaning work. More health that I can't pick up. And what's behind here? Uh, more blood. Okay. Another dubious looking elevator. Call me cynical, but these are just clearly a way to hide uh, loading screens. Isaac, have you reached the extraction team yet? All dead. Dan, it got here first. Oh, fuck. Then find a way out of the city. I'm coming in with the Eudora. Washington Station's not far. I can ride one of the trains out. Good plan. See you on the tracks. Yeah, it's not likely to be that easy, is it? Come on. I hear you. I'm going to turn my back on you. Ooh. Is this some sort of uh, random collectible? Missive to the Faithful. When the black marker was first discovered on Earth so long ago, the government at the time hid all evidence of it from us. When our prophet Michael Altman spoke out against them, he was silenced. Now EarthGov continues that legacy. They tamper with the markers, making blasphemous copies as part of their secret research programs. They have taken our sacred relic and turned it into a disease. By nature... Ooh, but, but nature has ways of correcting itself. By liberating the markers, we can end this cycle of death and begin the cycle of rebirth. So, obviously, they're, they're talking about the, um, uh, sort of their apocalyptic event. Uh, join me as we uh, take back our future, the future the marker promised to us all. And that's from Danik, so, yeah. These guys are all pretty unhinged. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that. Okay. Right, we can go through that door. And that's the door it wants me to go through. So let's have a little bit of exploration here. And of course that gets locked off. Can I reach that? Yes, I can. Can I use this bench? Apparently not. Maybe it's something we can come back to later. We haven't really been introduced to benches yet, but, you know, I'm aware of them from previous games, so... Maybe I'm jumping the gun a little bit. Maybe I should let the game take me at the pace the game wants to take me. So, let's do that. Oh, look, more health. Can't pick that up. Already overburdened with junk. Can always use more ammo, though. Hey, 
Okay, fair enough. The only reason I shot at that, I think there was an achievement in... Um Dear. I think there was an achievement in the second game where destroying one of those actually gave you an achievement, but... Okay. Oh, look. More health. Things freaking me out slightly. Let's get through here. Oh. More ammo. Um... Oh! I'm going to... Um... 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 Run. Apparently this one isn't finished. Oh, oh, more stuff. I figure the best thing to do is to try and um, slow them down first. Uh, please stay dead. And give me your loot. Ammo, yay! What's that? What was it and where did it come from? More ammo. Can I pick uh, more health even? Okay. This way, I assume. Oh, oh, God, these guys are fast. Get down. Stay down. Okay. Oh, God. That one nearly took me by surprise. Oh, look, another elevator. How fun. Come on, let's get out of here. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, a locked door. Damn it. No trains. Okay, I made it to the train station. What about Danik's men? I lost them in the panic. This outbreak may buy us some time. Well, grab a train. Let's go. No good. Looks like the train was getting refitted with a new power car. So? I'm gonna have to put it back together. We'll do it fast. Danik's gunships are far off. We'll try to draw them away then. Be fast. Okay. Train assembly incomplete. Please attach engine and fuel car before initiating departure sequence. So I've got my kinetics module. Aim and press F. So anytime you see this little blue thing here, you can kind of drag stuff around. Come on, over here. And... Do we have to move this one over here as well? Or is that one stuck? No, can't move this one. Can only move this one. There we go. A bit easier. Move it all the way over. <laughs> let's, let's give that a wide berth and not uh, get splattered by it. Um, what am I doing? Let's go and have a look around the side. One thing that I have noticed with this game that the others didn't do uh, is the others used to... Um, you had to save at specific save points, whereas this seems to be saving automatically, which is a little weird. Oh, well, that seemed like it would have been a good place to hide something. Okay, what is my current uh, current objective? Assemble then board the train. Okay. Let's 
So do I now have to move this one? Can't come any further this way. Does it want to move any further that way? No. Interesting. Can I turn this around? Ah, do I have to push that backwards off of here? Is that what I have to do? Do I have to move it off the turntable? And assemble it all down there on the line? That seems like a likely thing. Why won't you push it? Come on, Isaac. There we go. Seems like the further away you are from it, the uh, easier it is to move. So we should do the same thing with this one. Let's drag this across. Come on, Isaac. Bit further. There, there we go. We are attached. Departure process initializing. Please board to the rear of the train. All right, Norton. The train's hooked up and ready to head out the south gate. You can't miss it. It'll be the only thing moving. All right, understood. I'll close in once you clear the city. Be ready for pickup. This is going to be tricky. Oh, at least it... Oh, somebody's trying to cut their way in. Let's get onto this train. Norton, you still haven't told me what happened to Ellie. Now it's not the best time, I think. Is she alive? Last I saw her was at Keyhole Station. She said she was on to something big. Shocked out to some secret coordinates, and then we lost contact. I know your ex-girlfriend very well. She's still alive and mad as hell we haven't found her yet. Okay. Now we can get through the door. Oh, wow. Ha! Ah, here comes the cavalry. This is just going to be a run the gauntlet type thing here. Which ship is the Eudora? The bigger one that just flew over your head. <laughs> e, climb, climb, dude. Ah, shit, lost the main battery. Isaac, get your ass up here. Okay, how exactly do I do that? Oh, hello. Do I have to climb down? Really, you can't jump. Yeah, I'm coming. Apparently, this guy can't jump. What do you want me to do about it? how I was going to get onto there, but somehow managed it. Um, oh, oh, E, 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 E. I did, almost didn't see that for a moment. Captain, I've got it. Take us out of here now. Yeah, if you wouldn't mind. Wow, that was intense. And I'm guessing that was all prologue. Roll credits. Who's that? A boy. Cute kid. You leave him behind? He's dead. Dad had killed him. And his mother. I'm sorry. Yeah. Don't be. We're not friends. Hmm. Nice guy. Well, thanks for the rescue back there. Try harder next time. Garver. High school weekend. Yeah. Good. We're almost there. Get your asses to the bridge. You heard the man. So one thing that I'm not doing on this playthrough, um, which I might do at a later time, is you can actually there's a, a very good apparently a very good multiplayer mode in this, where one person plays as Isaac and I believe the other player plays as this guy, and you both often have to go off on your own separate ways and do your own separate uh, own separate missions, and apparently even in the cutscenes both of you get different cutscenes. 
Recorded message playback. Hey, look, I'm on patrol. Make this quick, all right? It's his birthday. <sighs> Shit. Is that Dad? Thanks for the present, Dad. When are you coming home? Soon. Okay. I love you, Dad. Who wants to play soldiers? You gave him a soldier. John, he idolizes you. Well, you better get that idea out of his head. You got that? I gotta go. Okay. Love you. Fair enough. So yeah, you basi basically both end up with different cutscenes, so the story plays out different for both of you. And that is something I'd like to experience in this, so more ammo down there. Because you really just don't need all the ammo. Let's pick some of it up. So you can't even pick that up. Okay. Well, I think I'll cut the video here before I go through that door, because who knows what we may find, and I don't want these videos to run too long. So if you're enjoying the series so far, please like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next video.